Ah, oh, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Continuing on with Factorio. And since the last game, I slightly rearranged this uh, mining operation down here. So I have these electric mining drills dropping onto a conveyor belt. And they then, these, these little inserters here, pick up the ore and put it in the furnaces. And on the other end, I have inserters taking coal and putting them into the furnaces to keep them fueled up. But it's still a manual process to come and collect the plates out of these. I'm sure there's an automated way to pull out of these and put on a conveyor belt somewhere, but for now that's good enough. And my inventory was getting full, so I just dropped some chests down here to kind of conserve space. We got our coal automatically feeding into our boiler. So let's try out some research. There's this lab that you make. I'll stick it there. And let's research, I'm going to research turrets first. And it needs these little red science packs, these little beakers. So it needs some of those packs. So how do we make those? Those take copper plates, iron gear wheels. Let's make a whole whack of those. And then load this up. And I guess it's researching. How long does that take? 10 seconds and it happens 10 times. So 100 seconds and then we'll have turrets. We still haven't been attacked. I'm not complaining, but I think this red stuff up here is pollution, but I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the enemy, I don't know. For some reason this thing stopped, I don't know why. Maybe it's got coal underneath it instead of... Oh, it's got two different types of resources underneath it. So maybe we need to move it up so it's pure coal. Grab all this stuff. And put it here. There we go. Put a furnace over uh, here. Inserter and a box. Give it some coal. There we go. Let's clear out some of these trees. And let's load some of those red beakers we made in here. And I think I read that you can have more than one going at once to speed it up. So let's try that. Let's build a second one. Looks like they're pretty slow to build, actually, these things. They have a lot of subcomponents. So we got one more. Let's put it down here. Maybe grab half the beakers out of this one. And load this one up with beakers. Can we see our progress? Can't tell how many, how close we are to finishing. Oh, there we go. Turrets researched. So th this is how all the other stuff you can unlock. Increased damage, laser turrets. So we'll st stick with the regular one for now. Let's try putting one up here. Let's try building one first. Can we build one? Gun turret. It's going to need ammo, so let's make some magazines. Let's actually get some other research going while we wait. So, automation. Let's research that. Put our turret up here. 
put some magazines in it. Uh, which are down here in your little in the weapon area. So it has ammo now. So if things come to attack, I guess this doesn't need any power. So it's just automatic. Okay. Let's build a few more of those uh, turrets. That's kind of so. Research is done already. Wow, that was fast. Okay, automation's done. Can we do electronics? Let's do that next. No idea what it does, but let's just do it. <laughs> and we're going to need some more red beakers. Let's queue a bunch of those up. It'd be nice if we get get our stone mining automated, but we're going to need to get the electricity all the way over there. We'll do that after we manually collect it here. Oh wow, it's full. Not quite full, but let's put an iron chest over here. Pick up this wooden one. And let's leave an iron chest here full of coal so we can so far just for next time. It makes it easier. We won't have to carry around. We won't have to carry all the coal over here. And do we have let's set up a turret here just in case we get attacked here. And put some magazines in. Now let's make some power poles. and lead some power over here. There we go. Now we can build some electric miners for the stone. Pick up this burner one. Put in an electric one. There we go. Might as well put two. Don't need that coal anymore. Might as well put three in. While we're here, I think we can make bricks. Let's try to put a stone furnace down. Fill it with coal. And put an inserter. I'll grab out of the chest and put it into the furnace and that'll make bricks for us. And another inserter that takes out of the furnace and puts in a box. We need another iron chest. That way we'll have some stone queued up and we'll have some bricks queued up. Let's put some turret, let's put a turret here to defend our power plant. And also, let's queue up some of those red beakers. So what can we build with automation? Assembling assembling machine. Let's try to build one of those. It's going to take a while to queue through all these beakers. Let's cancel some. I wonder if I should be mining some uranium while I'm here. Might as well. No idea what it does, but we'll eventually need it and we'll, it'll be ready when we have it. So, let's put some power there. Put a chest out front. Doesn't seem to be mining. Oh, it needs something. Actually, what is this thing? Electric mining drill. Why does it look different? It looks totally different. What the heck? Look at this thing, it's totally, the art is totally different. So it looks different if we put it over uranium. Huh. That's very odd. I guess it needs something else. We'll figure that out later. 
So what's this automation? Assembling machine one. What's this thing do? Let's put it down. Maybe here where we have some space. Oh, it's big. Okay, it needs power. Choose a recipe for assembling. Red beakers, science pack. Let's try to make these. Need some gears. Let's make another one that makes gears. It's iron gear wheel. It needs iron plates. Cool, so it's making gears for us. Where is it gonna put the output? Because we need to retrieve out of it. I'm pretty sure we could link these up here somehow. So this requires copper plates. Can we put an iron chest in front of it? and an inserter. We got a long handled inserter now. I think I read about those. They can they have a length of two instead of one. So our electronics research got unlocked. So I'm gonna do stone walls next. So we fill this with iron plates, will it put the iron plates in for us? It's putting the gears. Oh, that was fast. Stone walls are done. More efficient research. Let's do optics. What does that allow us to do? A lamp. Okay, let's do that. Optics is done. Let's do military next. Get our submachine gun. Can we build lights now? Let's see. Lamp. Let's build a few lamps. Let's light up this area. Ah, nice. Okay, military researched. Logistics. I'm doing all the red ones first because we don't have any green beakers yet. Fast inserter, cool. Splitter. Let's do that. Now, can we get an inserter to put gears in there? It seems to be working now. I kind of rebuilt it. I think the issue was that. I had filled the queue so that it was actually it's not working now. Oh it needed more iron plates. That was the problem. Now that there's gears and this needs gears, it should be putting them in. Oh, there it goes. So I guess this has a tiny little buffer. So we need to take those beakers off right away. Okay, let's, uh, let's move this power around. Let's build a conveyor belt here. Actually, we need a, we need a thing to pick it up. Let's put it up one. And we need a little inserter. There we go. It's putting the beakers off to the side. Okay, that's cool. Now can we send the beakers off to the science labs? Maybe we should move the science labs down here. It's kind of a bad placement. So let's put those down here. Now I saw a cool video where they built the science labs inside the center of a kind of circle here. So let's try to do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh yeah. Let's just place another one here. Let's build two more. 
Oh, we need circuits, which need iron plates, which we have down here. So it's control right click lets you empty the furnace without opening it. Now I think these are bottlenecked because this one's not working. So maybe we need another furnace or two here. Let's get some continue our coal this way. And we might as well dump the excess coal in a box. Does that make sense? Inserter. That way this doesn't get blocked up as well. And we need an inserter here. Need the furnace. Oh, let's try a fast inserter. Okay, what do they take to make? More electronics and an inserter. So let's try one of those, see you know, how it performs. Let's make a few more. And let's put that... We need one on this side as well, so... But we need to fill it with coal first. Holy moly, look at that thing go! That was fast. Let's put one on this side too. Now that be, might be overkill because the furnace can't keep up with that. Let's build two more science domes. Science labs. Let's put an inserter there. I think our belt has to be up one. Oh, we need more belts. Now I think I make made this backwards here. Because this inserter can't get it. It's on the wrong side of the track, so let's turn it around. See if that works. Okay, so the problem was that I didn't have any <laughs> research selected. I had completed all the research. So that's why it was just sitting there doing nothing. So let's continue this belt around. Look at that. So it's going in a loop now. And it'll just grab it if it needs it, I guess. So we'll get some power over there. We need a couple more inserters. Ah, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. It's not quite filling it up fast enough, though. <laughs> well, these have no plates in them. Now, is there a way to drop this on the belt? So, Z is drop item. Let's get this and try to drop it on the conveyor belt. Ah, there we go. Drop them all? I guess not. I think that's going to work. Now we probably want to load these with iron plates. Steel processing is done. You can make steel plate, steel chest, steel axe. Nice. What do we, let's do heavy armor. I'd really like to get the steel plates out of here. Maybe we can do this a bit more manually. So we'll have a belt here. Make sure that's too close. All about belt here. And we'll put an inserter here. Let's make a iron chest. Stick that here. Get some more inserters. Let's put an inserter here. Hook it up. And add some iron plates. So it'll take out of there. 
and then this thing can feed this with iron plates, I think. There it goes. So that'll keep that fed. One more inserter here. So this is backed up because it's not using the gears fast enough. That's okay. Could have buffers in between these with chests. But then we get more gears than we maybe potentially don't need. Could build another one of these assembly machines for... Oh, we're done with heavy armor. Unlocks heavy armor. Automation 2. Let's do that. Assembling machine 2. Crafts items that require up to four ingredients. And it's faster, I think. But there we go. We have gears feeding into this and gears feeding into this. There we go. We've doubled our output. Now, what if we put a lar long arm inserter right here? Oh, yeah. That's what we want. And then we can run a conveyor belt here that takes the metal plates up. Or at least puts them in a box. So if we do a conveyor belt this way... Oh, research is done. Automation 2 is done. Let's do bullet damage next. Okay, so we'll turn this around. Send it this way. Let's move this power. an inserter here and a box at least that way these uh, this furnace won't get backed up so we need some more long arms oh it's still backing up because these this belts backing up <laughs> Maybe we need a fast inserter here. Let's try that. Ooh, there we go. Is it going to catch up? I think it will, yeah. Let's try something a bit different though. Let's pick this up. Take it out a bit further. And put a chest on either side. There we go. So we're loading into two chests instead of one. This one's backed up. Now we'll be able to get through all that so that we can not have any backup. There we go. There we go. Everything is running without kind of backing up. How do we get electric furnaces? That's what I want to know. Did we get it in some of our research? Oh, we can build a... Oh. Oh, this just automatically increases the damage of everything. That's that's awesome. Pull it shooting speed. Let's do that. Let's light this place up a bit. Oh, that coal is completely full. Hmm. <laughs> Mining. Mining fluid. This needs acid and uranium ore. Huh. Oh, we have so much coal now. It's all backed up. How are we for power? We're almost maxed out. Let's extend this network, maybe. Let's put a turret here in case we get hit over here. And we need some magazines in there. Can we build walls yet? I think we can. Need some stone bricks, which I think we were building way back over here. Well, this thing's still running. <laughs> but it needs more coal. Oh, we got lots of stone bricks. Let's try to make some stone wall.
probably put an inserter here. That grabs coal out of a box. Fill it with coal. Make sure it works. Yeah, it's working. So that's automated, kind of. We don't have coal delivered into here, but... Oh, we got all the stone blocking here, though. So I think that'll keep the critters out. And I think these turrets can shoot over walls, so... Oh, maybe not right here. Oh! Bullet shooting speed. Complete. Fluid handling. Landfill used to fill in water. That's in the way. Okay, that's cool. Let's do fluid handling. Oh, it allows you to put stuff in barrels. Okay. Now let's build some... What does it take to build ammo? Iron plate. Build one of these assembling machines for iron plate. But we have this assembly machine too. Uses more power, has more health, and it's faster. Let's try building one of those. So this should take iron plate and oh we gotta select what we want, bullets. Okay, so that's making magazines in there. And we need to offload the magazines and stick them in a box, I guess, for now. There we go, we got a little ammo ammo supply depot. Oh, it looks like the second one never gets full. <laughs> I guess if these ever get full, it'll start doing these ones. What's this thing do? Is this just a rock? Hmm. Let's try making... we got a better pick, I think. Steel axe increases your mining speed. We don't have steel yet. We can build a submachine gun, but we need copper plate. We didn't really automate our copper, I don't think. Where was it? Up here. That's coal. Uh oh, out of coal. Production statistics. Oh, this is nice. Oh, with graphs and everything. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Fluids. Buildings. Huh, cool. It's handy. Tutorials, trains, achievements. Oh, we're not making beakers anymore. Oh, we're missing copper plates. We should do the same kind of thing here. Load some copper plates in automatically. We should take these steel plates around and put them in in here instead of this box. And I think we can go underground now. I think I saw that we had an underground conveyor belt. That needs iron plates and transport belts. Okay, let's make a few of those. And let's, let's hook up this side first. Oh, let's try a belt splitter and we can send some, some here and since these are doing, uh, let's, let's remove this. Now where's that belt splitter? Need circuits, which you need copper. You can run on our conveyor belt. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Let's make that splitter. These are out of coal. Where did all our coal go? Oh, I think it's because... Because <laughs> we're not backed up anymore. Let's let it back up on purpose. What we really should do is split this, though. Let's do the splitting here first. So we'll take that away, take that away. How does the splitter thing work? Like this? Okay. That works nicely. Let's put another splitter here. Fluid handling researched. Okay. Everything else is blue or er, is red and green. So let's just do the shotgun shell damage. Okay. Let's try that splitter. Let's get rid of this wooden box, we never use it. Okay, we got metal plates coming off here. We want them up there. Oh, got a power outage. What is happening? <laughs> coal is not going in for some reason. Maybe we're taking too much coal. So we'll give it some more coal out of those boxes. Might as well take it out of this box too. There we go. Now it should be enough coal. Now let's hook this up and the metal plate should feed in here. Brilliant. I like it. And we don't want our metal plates queuing up too much. So let's, uh, let's put a box here and grab the excess. That way we're not wasting any. Look at this thing. It's awesome. I love it. I'm going to be a bit wasteful and make a transport belt this way. That way when we run over to our stone, and we may use it in the future too. So let's build a bunch of those. I saw people doing this in videos, making a little circle. <laughs> anyway, when we, when we need to run over now, it'll be a bit faster. Shotgun shell damage is done. Let's do shotgun shooting s speed. Let's build a submachine gun to replace our pistol here. Let's put some junk up uh, junk chest here. Or some Can we put our handgun in there. There we go. Haven't had to use any guns yet, but we will eventually. Well, how's our little ammo thing doing? 184. Not very fast, but that's okay. Oh, shotgun shells are done. Now for the next stuff we need green. How do we make green research stuff? We can make right now. Iron and copper. Let's queue some of that up. And we can put in iron plate and copper plate. Wait a minute, what are we gonna, what are we gonna get from this? Iron plate, oh, I think it just automatically makes steel. Let's see. Aha! We have made steel. Oh, advanced material processing. That's how we get the steel furnace. So let's research that thing. Requires 75 times 30 seconds. It's going to take a while. And let's queue up some green research beakers. So we got a lot done in this episode. I'm going to wrap it up because it's getting kind of long. 
pretty happy with the state of the base. We've got to automate this uh, steel production. And I may uh, build some kind of conveyor belt to automate this stone, bringing the stone back. And we got to fortify the base a bit more, put some walls around the back end. And we can upgrade our furnaces pretty soon to steel furnaces. We'll do that next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're if you're liking these videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.